Hey, this is David B69. Welcome to today's video. Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well, and hit the notification bell for future videos. Let's get on to the show. Hey everybody, this is David B69, and I am happy to say that I got some mail. Okay, but this one is kind of funky. I gotta tell you that I received this mail yesterday. I got one envelope, kind of looks like your typical mailer. Then I got this one that was kind of like doing like this solar exposition where I'm expected that uh, this was something from the space shuttle that we're trying to reflect or use satellites or something. I mean, seriously, this is the bag that this came in. And I'm like, what the heck? I've never seen this kind of thing. I mean, it feels the same. I mean, it's definitely a bubble mailer, but it's like, it's kind of funky because it's so silver and so shiny. Um, that it just, it just blows my mind away. Um, so this is from uh, Retro Raven Games which they always generally had good games. Um, even like they, instead of, uh, instead of your typical, There we go. It did have stickiness on the other side. It's almost like they put glue down or something to keep this thing sealed. I've never seen something stick so well. So whatever this bubble mailer is, I mean, seriously, you can see the stickiness on it. I mean, it's absolutely crazy but it's like a really long mailer they didn't they folded it over um, but it's like really really long we got several games um, but before I start with these games I wanted to make an announcement huge announcement ladies and gentlemen I'd like to report a trade yes we made a trade. Um, so I packed up and I made a trade with Drinking Games with Josh. Drink and Games with Josh. I should call it Drinks and Games. We always like made comments on that. Um, I'm not going to be able to go down to Siege this year. So there was no point in waiting on this trade for a month. Um, so I gathered a bunch of stuff. Um, he basically like I sent him all the stuff that I had that I didn't mind trading, which was pretty much everything. I mean, it was just a, there's a few things and stuff that are in my collection that I just don't want to get rid of, or it has specialness to my kids or myself that I do not want to get rid of. Um, and he basically is like, what's going? He basically selected a bunch of things and stuff and everything that he thought that I would like, and they were not on my list. And I'm like, and there were duplicates of his, apparently, he said. Um, but it's like, either way, it's like, I really want those games. It's, they were complete, a lot of them. Um, and a lot of them were sports completes. So they're basically an upgrade from what I had, especially with Super Nintendo and their completes. Um, super excited about them. Super excited to get some more PS2 titles. But unfortunately, I had to say goodbye to a few PS3 titles. So my PS3 collection has gone down, as has my Nintendo 64 collection gone down. I know, wah, wah, wah. but it's okay. I'm still over that 50% mark. I'm still like well beyond and everything, but we'll go that, to that more in detail um, when this trade is commenced and completed. Um, and I got my side, he's got his side. We're all, and everybody's happy. But I just basically wanted to give a little announcement that the reason that on the label of this video for the little thumbnail, 
it has the PS3 games at a little bit lower. There's a reasoning for that. So just wanted to let you know. The first game that is here is Transformers Devastation. Yes, I've been wanting Transformers Devastation for the longest time. I love that they put them in these bags. Um, but yeah, it's like so cool. Um, I mean, it's like you can play as Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, Sideswipe, Wheeljack, and Grimlock. And it's awesome. I, I just absolutely love this. This is like so cool. Um, was this supposed to be? Yes, yeah, disc and case and stuff. So there's no manual of any type or anything. So, um, but yeah, it's cool. Very excited to have Transformers Devastation. Next game. And this one is the only game that I need that's left on my PS3 collection, but this one's on the PS2. And that is Transformers The Game. Now, yeah, I, I definitely want this on the PS3, but it's just cool to have it on the PS2 as well. Um, super excited to have it. It is complete with manual. Love to see that. And yeah, very excited to have Transformers The Game. Adding more into my PS2 collection that, that like is always ever growing. It's absolutely insane how much growth my PS2 collection has had. Um, I mean, we're getting close where I'm gonna be filling up an entire rack just on the wall of just PS2 games. I'm gonna have to, just to put these in, I gotta move some of my uh, some of my Wii, Wii or Wii U games, probably Wii U games. I think my Wii U is slightly smaller. Um, but next PS2 game is Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Now I have this on the PS3, but again, I just like to have things complete. Um, again, nice and complete, um, but I, I definitely, Transformers is one of my go-to things that I love. Um, and getting a PS2 copy of it is like extra special. It's really cool. So that is all from this freaky packaging. Um, have you ever gone to a store or anything online and gotten freaky packages like this? I mean, it's like, this just like blew my mind. Um, like the type of packaging, so. Let me know in the comments below if you got in anything like in freaky packaging. Now back to normal packaging. This is from Lukey. Now what if it was the exact same time and I got them the exact same day? It's like one's from like Miami. I think Lukey's in Miami and uh, Retro Raven is in Georgia, I think. So not that far off. So, first we got a thing with the mailer. And I'm just gonna pull these out and show them one at a time. First, these are all PS2 games, by the way. First one is The Sims. Um, really cool. This is a complete game. Um, not monstrously expensive, but just, retro and like really cool to have i like to go back and play like really old retro games and you don't get any more retro than the sims and this was such a fad back then um that everybody wanted to play the sims i mean it was like just i mean mostly it was on pc but just to have a console variant was always really cool and these labels i hate them I really do. I mean, this is what happens when when you put that label on and you try to peel it off. And if they're not, they either when they're stuck too long or something, they basically have issues. The next game 
is NCAA March Madness 2004. Now, the reason I purchased this, and it's complete, uh, the reason I purchased this is I think it was 2004 and 2005, I could actually export, I think there was an ability to export so I can go into the, uh, so year by year, you can go up and everything and basically export from one year to the next year and stuff. It's like really cool. Um, so you just can basically continue and continue and continue. Um, me personally, I'm not a huge college basketball fan, but if I can play and put a bunch of players that I create and make a franchise out of it, well, it's kind of, they call it dynasty. But if you make a franchise out of it and you basically have the players with your name, it's kind of cool. <laughs> it's cool and everything on the upper uh, corner. You can see uh, Dick Vitale saying, it's Memphis, baby. So it's like really cool. Ask the coach videos, locker room videos, detailing pregame scouting reports, strategies from top coaches, including Billy Donovan, Mick Majerus, and Gary Williams, who are those people. Most of them I don't know. I know Billy Donovan. I've heard of him. Um, everybody else, not so much. So anyway, I thought this was cool. And since I thought that was cool, games all fell down, is... March Madness 2005. Again, very cool. And uh, yeah, very excited to have this. And of course it is complete. And uh, yeah, speaking of college games, um, are you getting the college football game for the PS5 or Xbox Series S or X? Um, I do plan on getting uh, getting it and playing it. Um, so yeah, it's really cool. Um, very excited to get back into college sports. Um, I haven't heard any announcements if they're going to put any games like basketball and have those college games and put them into in, on here. Um, I haven't heard it because, I mean, it's like, honestly, EA doesn't make, doesn't make college game, uh, regular pro games and stuff and everything anymore. They stopped making them a while ago. So I don't see them sinking their head into this unless 2K decides that they want to do it. Um, but yeah, it's like really, really cool. So really happy to have these part of my collection. So for all these games... What's your top favorite? Which is the one that you like are most excited about? I'm personally most excited to play Devastation. I've never played it before. Um, so I'm like really excited to play it. So let me know in the comments below what you think. And until next time, this is David B 69 I am out. Have a great week, people. Happy Memorial Days. If you served, I do really want to just say Thank you from the bottom of my heart and my family's heart. Um, yeah, it just, it means a lot to me and to my family. Um, anybody that has served this country, um, it's really, really appreciated. So thank you and have a great day, everybody. Peace.